What is up bass fishing freaks? Luke Reeser here from Too Fat to Hunt Outdoors. We just got over to the Mississippi River. This is the same spot where me and Baywatch came where uh, it was pretty slow that day. We ended up with one big perch, small perch, and I lost a giant perch. So today is about redemption. I'm gonna get revenge on these big yellow ringers. There's quite a few people out there. Probably can't see because GoPros don't zoom, but there's like at least 10 other people there parking lot is glare ice there's like seven vehicles there so we're gonna go out and see if we can snag snaggle in between some guys and drill some holes and wish for the best stay tuned folks slaunch hunting starts slaunch hunting starts big old donkey lips slaunch hunting hunting starts now Okay, so basically you just gotta lift up on it, pull some line out, and feel for. Yeah, I don't feel, I don't feel nothing. Nope, he had it, but it's gone now. Oh. Damn it, <laughs> he had. I had a big minnow on there. Yeah. <laughs> the other day when we were here, my buddy, you know, little tungsten jig, he's in there jigging and he said it just grabbed it and went right down, snapped his jig right off. It must have been a pike. Or big uh, crappie or, or something big, yeah. I, I, he had it, man, but we didn't know if you wanted us to mess with your stuff. He was running good with it. Uh, <laughs> well, some guys do, so I didn't know. I didn't want to tick anybody off. Oh, he was really, it was spinning like crazy. Oh, awesome. Yeah, we, by the time you waved and said go ahead, he had let it go. Yeah. But. I forgot all about that fucking beer. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she's running. It was going. Oh, I had him, but I lost him. Oh. Dang it. Oh, it's probably the I perch. Yeah, or crappie, one of the two. I felt him going, too. Dunk, dunk. How close are you to the bottom, then? Uh, about halfway down. Halfway, that's what so. I'm about. Yeah, I caught a ring of perch about the eighth thing, and I threw that sucker on there. <laughs> that's what I'm going to do if I get one. <laughs> I'll have to cut my mono leader off because I'm sure a pike will bite right through that. Tip off. Got him. Ringer. Woohoo. First fish of the day. Not a bad perch. On the tip up. Where's your gramps? It was sitting on the bottom. Uh, I might have been the wind. I don't see it going anywhere. I 
must have been the wind. Nope. A little shyster. He got me. I might just put quit jigging and put all three tip ups out. Tip up. <clears throat> Here we go again. Luke on the run. Is it spinning? It's not moving. There it goes. Got him. Little ringer. Really? <laughs> you don't mind coming over here gawking at the action, do you? I don't care. Okay. Go for it. It's all part of the fun, right? You betcha. He's too little to keep. Huh? Yeah. But it's up to you. You want to keep him going ahead? Make, make a good pike, pike uh -huh. bait. A little too big, a little too big for pike yeah, bait. The one I put on about third small. Yeah. Well, get bigger, bud. <laughs> Working off that candy bar today. Going anywhere. Stole it again. Thieves. Ooh. Spin him. It was. You let it go? Dang it. I think he let her go. No. Well, folks, that's a wrap. We are off the ice now. I think we're about almost dead center, right where we did the intro on the way out. Anyways, not a very good day out here. This river sucks. I don't think there's any fish left in it. But we were able to catch two perch on tip-ups. That one tip-up was going crazy all day. And there at the end, another guy fishing by us caught a little three-inch perch. Let's put that on and it flag went up twice. I felt something one time, but he spit it out. But it is what it is. So the jig and bite sucked for me. <laughs> While I was drilling my initial holes, the guy next to me caught two crappies that were 13 and 14 inches, and then 10 minutes later lost one that size at the hole. And I snuggled up next to him and I couldn't catch him. So he never caught any more after that. So I don't know a fluke thing or what. He was in the right spot at the right time, but I would have just liked one of those. When we first got out there, there's one guy, he walked across and left his tip up out by us and he walked a couple hundred yards and we seen his flag go up and we went over and the sucker was spinning, he was running with it and I hollered at him and hollered at him. I'm like, buddy, he comes running over, he's like, go for it. So by the time I pulled it up, the fish had let it go. He was over there eating a burrito with some other fishermen that were fishing a few hundred yards away. Um, I wish I would have been invited to eat a delicious burrito on the ice. Anyways, he had a big old spoon on there with a shiner, so I'm sure it was a bass or a pike, which would have been fun. But you never know. I didn't know the guy, never met him. So some guys are really sticklers about other people messing with their stuff. So 
I wasn't going to touch this stuff. But anyways, folks, if you have not yet subscribed to my channel, go ahead and do that now. Hit the bell so you get notified every time I put out a new video. Just hit that big thumbs up button. Chris are signing off. Always remember, you're never too fat to fish.